Hey everyone, so we're here getting ready to start a Project 200 and we got some people watching. Someone can't be on camera. So I went ahead and I'm going to go ahead and update the file, put the V5 software into the Holly, and then we're going to go ahead and try to fire it. Everything's pretty much final assembly. Um, everything's on the engine, hooked up, good to go. Looks pretty good. And then, so one little thing we we're going to try to drive it but there was a little issue with the brakes so these here will not clear a 15 inch rim so we're gonna have to hold off on driving it for a minute but otherwise everything else is good we got the power on it now and that's always the time you hold your breath is when you power everything up to the ecu and like the dash will come on and then you can start uploading the firmware and all of that so uh, we're going to go ahead and wait for that to happen and then we'll go ahead and put the base tune in that i already built and hopefully we can fire it. We'll do some checks, like check for fuel pressure, uh, probably crank it before firing, make sure it's got oil pressure. Even though we primed it, we wanna make sure that it does have oil pressure before we start it. And just go through some of the checks, make sure all the wiring's working and things are happening the way that it is. Uh, we'll have to cycle the key a few times. I can set the fuel prime to a larger amount, so then we can set the fuel pressure and all of that. So gonna go ahead and go through that and hopefully you guys can watch along. All right, so everything looks pretty good. Gonna go ahead and do TPS set. So it was successful. So now, hopefully, we can go and fire it and it'll start. Yeah, so I can go with pump gas and go to the C16 out on the road pretty easily. Ready? Yep. You don't work the throttle or everything from. Yeah, if it needs it, hopefully it. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, a little bit of smoke right here. Guys, so one of the issues that we ran into is something with the key, but when we're cranking, it with the older cars, there's not like an ignition on while cranking because it's not a normal EFI car from the factory, so that doesn't exist because usually the coil would take it from there. So we're having to figure out a way to keep ignition on while cranking, and so we're going to just wire up like a toggle switch real quick, and then we can try to go from there and then figure out how to wire that in to keep it on in the future. Uh, so we can run everything off the key, but it's kind of using an old wiring system that's in a car and a new AFI system is causing an issue for us. We got rid of the ethanol, so we're told that this was like a race gas, we put it in, it's, it's an ethanol. So we're getting rid of it, gonna put regular gas back in it because that's what we want to run in the car. And that's a five gallon a minute pump. So uh, we'll get all this fuel out, put some regular fuel in it, and then check a few other things and go from there. So I think we kind of figured out the issue. Uh, looking at the harness schematic here, you can figure out that on Holly, that like say this one, you can follow it over, and cylinder one on the coil pack should be white yellow. So the coils on this car are mounted down here and they're flipped. So the coils are actually backwards. So one, three, five, seven is how it should be, but we actually have it reversed. So we gotta unpin uh, the coil harness and repin it. So then we get the proper cylinder. So it's one, three, five, seven, and then we'll have the correct firing order, and then everything should be okay, hopefully. Tighten it up. Yeah. Andy's over here figuring it out. Oh. All right. All right cool. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> It's got uh, 100. switching the coil wires around it fired and we still had two wires off so those are fixed now so everything's good hopefully is good 
we're gonna go and fire it. Hopefully we can do the whole warm up right now. So just new car blues trying to figure out all the wiring. Uh, EFI cars have a ton of wiring, so that's just part of it. So hopefully we're good now. So we ran into a few little things, uh, but the car's running. If I set the minimum injector time on the injectors above 1.2 or below 1.2, uh, the car wants to die. If I set it at 1.2 where the injectors are happy, the car wants to run really rich. So we're gonna pull some fuel out of the fuel pressure regulator to try to lean it out and see if that makes it happy. And then we can work on some other things. So we're down at like the very minimum of the injector. So uh, it's not real consistent fueling. So we gotta get past that so then we can really dial in the fuel on, at idle. So as you guys can see here in the holly, uh, right here under system parameters and engine parameters, here's the minimum time. So if I, yeah, there it is. So if that is too low, the injector gets unsteady and can't stabilize uh, if you set it at minimum it's the minimum amount of time that it'll stay open so the injector works well but even if you start pulling fuel it'll just leave that minimum amount of fuel because it's already opening the minimum amount of time that it can so hopefully we'll be able to get past that here in a minute all right so an issue we're having when we're running it is the passenger bank is definitely richer than the driver bank so we're trying to figure out why that bank is consistently richer um, and it loads up on fuel and kind of pops a little bit out of it every once in a while. So it's, it's, we're just trying to make sure that all cylinders are firing and doing all that. So hopefully we can get past that little issue, just new car blues and it happens. So just diagnosing things and trying to make sure everything's correct. All right, so we're checking the temperature on the headers uh, to see if maybe one of them cylinders is getting like not firing like the uh, I guess it could be a bad plug or a bad coil or who knows what. But uh, so we checked the temperature and both of the front are looking a little bit lower than the others. So we're gonna check both of those and see if we can see anything with like the plug, uh, see if there's really any heat in it or anything. So we'll go ahead and pull some plugs and check that out. So we pulled all the plugs off the passenger side and they all look pretty even. So it might be something to do with an injector. So we're gonna mess around with troubleshooting some injectors and see if we can figure anything out with that. All right, so we're going to try this one more time. Uh, we move the O2 sensors around just to make sure which one is richer or leaner if uh, it stays with the right bank or the left bank. So try it. Ready? Injector minimum at 1.1, so I think it's still not happy. I gotta put it at 1.2. Yep. All right, everyone. So that's it for today. We got the car running, good fuel pressure, not a lot of major leaks or anything, but the car is running rich. So we're gonna try a different set of injectors. Go to a little bit smaller injector and see if we can get the idle right. Um, we tried everything we could to get it to idle 
a little bit leaner, but we're at the injector minimum time. I'll probably make a video on that in the future to kind of explain how some of the big injectors work and trying to make it idle, right? Uh, it's just something that I've came across a couple times now when tuning. So too big of an injector can be a drivability issue. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and there'll be a lot more coming of this car as we get it going. So we'll see you guys next time. Please like, subscribe and share below and I appreciate it.